I just started. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, that wasn't a very good director's cut or whatnot, okay? Hey, all right. Some of you didn't get to hear this story this morning. I don't think so. I want to kind of redo the lesson. We're going to gift it back to uh, the world out there watching, too. So, got this new bike, and come down here. Go ahead and look at the belt. Maybe I'll just take this bag off quick. And we have some pretty severe damage. There's a much better way to show this. You guys get down here and see this. So I knew this was a problem when I bought it, and I don't remember the cord showing. And I also don't remember, it's a pretty overcast day when I bought it too, I didn't take the bag off. I was gonna buy it regardless. So I don't remember this kind of looking almost like it was burnt or rubbing too. So yesterday, we, I started seeing the cord, and I'm like, oh shoot, dang, boy, this thing's worse than I thought. And we got lights out, we got inspection mirrors, we got even a bore scope and we were looking down in here and we cannot find anything rubbing this, right? Mm -hmm. So what were the couple of things that we talked about could cause this? A rock getting lodged in there. Something got lodged way down in there. That could be a problem. And we saw we saw a little bit of metal shaving with the bore scope in there, right? Yep. Uh, Xavier, what were you saying? I was saying that someone could have like been working on it and dropped a screw in there and it just rubbed the and then spit itself out but I mean we have full circumference of the belt so something really dug in there right and what I said is it, it, if it spit out no big deal and the kind of what we were saying is well you could just take it apart and then try to look for the evidence but I like to collect evidence I want to look at everything possible before I take it apart because sometimes what happens when you take like a cover off or you take any uh, shields or anything, you ruin the evidence that shows you, hey, this is where the problem really is. Does that make sense? If someone, in th I see this happen a lot with technicians where they're working on something, they drop a bolt and they can't find it and they go, ah, it'll be fine. If you kind of look over here, if, if there was a technician and we know a battery was put in, if they dropped a bolt down in here, you can kind of see, I'll get that aim down in there, you could see right there where the flashlight's shining that a bolt being dropped in there could have caused this issue and then worked itself out eventually through bouncing down the road, right? So go back here, Monroe. So here's a little trick that I like to do. When I left home this morning, I decided I wanted to create my own witness mark. Back up. I wanted to create my own witness mark. So I took and actually painted sections of the belt here. Did it rub off? All right, there we go. Okay. So I tried to do a couple different spots, and we, we know that we had something rub all the way across it. So by having this witness mark here, if I was still rubbing, if whatever was present in there, it would smoke off the paint. Does that make sense? So maybe it was just dust covering up the cord, or you know, who knows, or whatnot. But you see a couple spots here that I put that on, and we're not getting anything. The other thing now that I'm actually looking at this is I'm trying to see if I have anything that I can hear rubbing. You know, I want to check this in a few different spots, but I don't know, we can, we can be a mechanic by just ripping stuff off, fixing the obvious, or we could be a mechanic by taking our time and trying to, hey, what's up, bud? We could be a mechanic by taking our time, collecting all the evidence, and then coming up with scenario to go, man, I, there's n nothing in here that I could see to cause this, but I'm going to feel a lot better about my repair going, uh, I'll bet, you know, something came off the road or a rock dropped in there. And when I put the new belt on, I want it to last, right? Can you imagine to, to do this belt, by the way, on this one, guys, you got to take off the primary, the clutch, the foot rest. Uh, it's probably room for the, well, I got to take the exhaust off because I have to pull the swing arm pivot, the rear tire, the shocks, just to get this belt on. Could you imagine? And it's like a $200 belt. Could you imagine putting this all back together, customer comes back, you know, 50 miles later, or you take it out for the test ride and you get that wear mark dug right back in? Think that's a bad day? Oh, yes. So you guys training and learning this stuff, this is a great way to think about maybe slowing down a second and uh, documenting, collecting, getting everything you possibly can to make sure that whatever new parts you're putting on there are actually gonna fix the problem. Okay, I got a belt to put on. Keep wrenching. Make it a great day.